on it. In Fun Nature Center's youth leadership program, we're designing an all-natural playscape to help kids get excited about the outdoors. The playscape will consist of three natural play pockets or sections. For each play pocket, um, we could choose one of four different themes. Shelter, food, space, and water. For our play pocket, we chose water. Um, so right here, we have what could be used as a bus, and our the water theme for that will be um, of the steering wheel, which is two sheets of plastic with two different types of sand, one uh, blue and one white, so when you turn it, it will look like waves. And then it could also be um, like a restaurant, pretend restaurant. And then right here we have a water pump, so we'll have a rain barrel with rain water and um, a natural dam that kids can use out of sticks and rocks. And then it'll turn into a little river or lake. Um, and then right here we have an interactive sign that will be all of Michigan's Great Lakes and there will be flaps, so underneath each flap it will talk about the size of, of the lake, the volume of the water, and the types of fish in that area. And then we also have just some of the trees that will be in our place. Hi, my name is Zoe and out of the four different themes my group chose shelter. Cool. Here's my line. Okay. For our main structure we designed a dome that is going to be made out of willow trees. The willow trees are going to be put into the ground in a circle. As the trees grow, there will be rings placed around them in order to create the dome shape. Our other types of shelters will be teepees. We are building three separate teepee structures in the pocket. These will, be, will only be outlines because next to each teepee there will be multiple sticks for kids to build and rebuild the teepees. The last thing is the path. Leading. Hi, I'm May, and our group chose space for our play pocket. So, to demonstrate space, for on this wall we're going to paint a mural of uh, the three different layers of the canopy um, and show uh, what birds live in each. And so, also we're going to be cutting uh, some windows into the um, wall at different heights because we're going to have a... Um, bird feeding area behind it um, so so that the kids can get up to the different heights we've got a net that starts down here the these poles are both four feet high and then it's going to rise up to eight feet high up at the top also we've got a sensory garden over here um, we're going to do different plants that uh, kids can eat like wild strawberries and um, plants like lamb's ear that the kids can touch. Hi, I'm Josh, and the reason that we picked this area is since it is out in nature, and but it's not too far out since the building is right over there. It was a good place because since it's on top of a hill, you can watch your kids as they play, and there's plenty of space at the bottom of the hill, and there's a cove for you to for you to cool off in the shade. This is the end of the playscape, and there's a play pocket here, there, and right there. And I'm gonna show you where it ends. Hi, my name is Sydney. And mine is Elijah. Construction on the playscape will begin on Earth Day, which is April 19th. So you remember when you were a kid and you would learn about all those programs and stuff? and stuff like that and you just kept on thinking how they how the heck did they warm up their pizza without a microwave or, or how did they play flappy birds without an iPhone well then you realize they really had a better environment back then